Hey there guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Zestria HD Blind with your host Dummy LSC. Right up there you see us again! Didn't we already fight this fight? I feel like we did. But I guess we get to do it again. Hi guys! I oh, there's not even a scene! You don't really want to do this, do you? The feeling gnawing at you is what brought us to life. Did you know that? Oh, please. We're not so dumb as to fall for that garbage. Simone, are you getting desperate? You go to hell! It must be! Afraid that we'll defeat Heldorf, huh? Never! You have no chance! Abandon your doubts! Tiger Blade! Let's keep it up! Solid Frost! Eat Calamity Flare. Ow. Immediately whatever you just did. See, says everything I say. Alright. Well, there went that. Pretty straightforward. 182 grade. That that one's much better than my normal fights. Well, I think they're all out of Let's Saray's go. Rose. But Simone's so just, just gonna throw more of her crap at us. I bet she will, but it won't be anything we need to worry about. It's been pretty easy so Probably far. I that. Even her illusions are starting to lose their spectacle. She can make passable imitations of Rose and Saray, sure, but it's looking like everything else is beyond her reach. Yeah, if she could scare us with anything she wanted, you'd think there'd be more guts and stuff. <laughs> Spleens. Spleens? Anyway, let's keep moving forward. Right. We don't want to let her stall us here while we talk about how bad she is at her job. Yeah. I almost feel sorry for Simone now, that's, that's cruel. She sure is trying. It's kind of getting annoying. What is that? But I feel like the effects of her technique are weakening. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut them off. Simone. Could it be? Is this a... Okay, interesting. That's, I kind of thought that's maybe what that is. I, although as much as I want to go back and do like side quests, this feels like the Simone battle, and it, it feels appropriate to do it here. A dead end. What? But this was the only path. Another illusion. We can't waste any more time. I think we'll need to come up with a way to punch through her illusions. So right, punch. How? Illusions are not. They still punch back pretty good. I don't think the illusions will last much longer. Huh? Why not? Simone is a seraph. It's gotta be hard for her to maintain her powers in the middle of all this malevolence. Good, they wouldn't get an answer on how she Speak does that. Speak of the devil. For all the illusions I craft for you, your hearts refuse to budge the slightest inch. What did you think of? It seems I will need to take other measures. What did you think of what, illusion of a dead end would do to us? Submit yourselves! <laughs> She's a person, but no reason. It must be so. Are you sympathizing with me? You care so much. Then succumb to the darkness! Why would you ever do that? Freeze! 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 
This is the person. I have to assume this is still the right one. People dead for this. enough. Do you accept death? No. What kind of question is that? Wait! Shepard! <gasps> <laughs> there it is. So that's your real face. <laughs> it looks the same to me. Or is it just that she Let's go. Look I'm so worried about Gramps. Oh, so sure. 
It's already too late. Everything is lined up just as our Lord has planned it. Then why did you work so hard to stop and us? what? You think we're the types to just turn around and run home? Why must you fight back? The more you fight, the more you suffer. Why do you resist our Lord's vision? But the more we overcome, the less others suffer. A world free of suffering. Free of restraint. I know. I know you haven't forgotten that Wind Seraph, who gave his life for the burden of his sins. The answer he reached was that of revenge. Tell me, is that not the same goal our Lord shares? Well, he's not my Lord. I deny our Lord. Are you not denying him as well? Dezel did suffer. I know. But he made a decision and put everything toward achieving it. Yes, with the end goal of freedom from agony. But Dezel was... To resist and fight against one's own sins. Such foolishness is nothing less than the denial of the self. And for all that resistance and denial, all of the sacrifice, nothing awaits but an empty death. That only works if we think his death was empty, which we don't. Simone, since you stopped resisting, have you ever felt truly alive? What? It is true that fighting back brings pain and suffering. But once you raise your head and take the first step toward your answer... Why is Lila's the one to say this? you think that is when life begins? I guess she is the prime lord. At first, I'm sure, Dezel was trying to break free from his suffering. But even when he remembered his true past, did he curse the very sins you speak of? Did he despair and just give up? Oh, I see. So that's why in the end, Dezel was smiling. Why he was able to smile. Is that it, Lila? But what does that matter? If you don't reach the correct answer, you've got nothing to show for it but hollow contentment! But you're defining the correct answer as the one you when believe, from the simple fact you believe it. A bad thing. The goal is important, but that doesn't mean that the journey is not. Mere sophistry. <laughs> Haven't you noticed by now? We're pressed for time, and yet here Lila is trying to do you a favor. Simone, remember what you asked me that one time? Should one who only brings misfortune be allowed to exist? Is that entity evil to the core and worthy of death? It wasn't a question that required an answer. Well, he's gonna give you one anyway. But I'm answering it anyway. Boom! You don't have to think too. of yourself as evil. Or, uh, I mean, it's okay if you're evil. Wait, what? what? Uh, well, I mean... Should have let Lila do it. What I really wanted to say, like, uh... Don't try to be eloquent. I think all kinds of people should live. Together, we can find the way for all of us to be happy. And so you too. <laughs> you don't understand. You don't even understand how cruel you are. You talk of happiness, yet even now you snatch it away from me. I have no reason to exist if I cannot work for the cause of our Lord. No reason at all! Ugh, will she not get it? Can I please punch her? I would be okay with that. <laughs> Let's go, Saray. Yeah. I have to say... So <laughs> Ugh. I'm sorry, just the sound of a person crying just completely unnerves me. Completely unnerves me. Yeah, get out of this room. Got a message across to you. Oh my gosh, don't make me listen to this. More than that, I cannot say. Okay, go through the door. I, I can't listen to this, guys. So this is Camelon. My first time here, yet I already know the place. Feels bizarre. It's like time has stopped ticking here. You might be more right than you realize, considering how much power Maltellus wields. So, this is where he died. I don't think Lila, are you okay? Thank Unless you, you mean Saray. the previous shepherd. I'm just fine. We got a ways to the shrine still. Keep your chins up. Quite. Okay. So, I do want to say- wait, there's a merchant here? I don't know what.
Okay, well, there's a pity for Simone here, but first, before I get into it, I want to say, I'm really, I, I do feel like Simone's end was not handled as well as everything else, but I do think she's a really, really interesting character. I, I do like how much attention was paid to her, and I, I think her reason for existing is valid. You know, ultimately, um, the humans will continuously battle between their serific natures and their hellion natures. I, I'm very convinced that the reason hellions can corrupt humans is because humans do naturally fall into the trap of, you know, they, they can go either way. It's, it, it, it's a battle between their pure intentions and the, you know, vices, if that makes sense. So I, the idea of, you know, if you just let humans fall, then this, this eternal struggle within man won't exist anymore. You know, Seraphim spent, basically the entire point of Seraphim is to force humans into something humans don't naturally want to do, which is valid. I don't agree with it, but I think it's a valid concept. The end of her right there, I liked it, although I felt like it was done much, much better in Roroni Kenshin. And if any of you haven't seen that, there is a um, character, and I'm not going to spoil too much of it, but... He goes through his, in he basically kind of similar to Simone, character falls in with the antagonist of the series and sort of just learns that the strong survive. If you're, you know, strong, you live. If you're weak, you die. And so he just devotes his life to being stronger because that's how humans are supposed to be. And, of course, after he's defeated, the protagonist is just sort of like, no, that's, that's, that's ridiculous. You're, you're just defining correctness by who's good in a fight, and that has nothing to do with it. And his closing line, which I feel like is sort of the same thing someone was trying to say here, was, um, I'm going to butcher it, but it is just how cruel it is to find out your entire basis for existence was wrong. You know, when, whenever you have a house whose foundation is, is misaligned, you have to tear down the entire house and rebuild it from scratch. And that is so, so, so difficult to do. And in, in a lot of ways, that is the cruelest thing you could say to that person. And I, that's sort of the same thing with Simone was. He's like, you talk about happiness, but you're basically telling me that my whole life is a lie and you know, forever denying me happiness. And I don't feel like it was expressed very well in this game, but I, I do really like that sentiment. Probably because it reminds me of a you know, much better expression of the same thing. You know, I can't help but feel sorry for Simone. I kind of did, She too. must have been having a hard time coping with her burdens. To the point that she couldn't find meaning in her life until she started working for Heldolf. And with such tremendous powers, too. That's a real shame she couldn't believe in herself. She could have killed us with those powers of hers. I wonder if Heldolf ordered her not to. But more than that, I'm wondering if she could have killed us. Her powers went beyond the typical domain of seraphic arts. They felt more special. Oh, you mean like from an oath? Oath. An oath she took not to kill anybody. Wait, where's this Humans, coming from? Seraphim, Hellions, whatever she's up against, she can do anything and everything but kill them. Feels like it means something, and at the same time, it doesn't. But at the end, it felt like she was so genuinely going all out on us. So if you take an oath, your powers get stronger? Why does everyone take an oath? That's how much she wanted to kill us. Even if it meant breaking her oath, losing her powers, and defying her feline overseer. Yes. If she hadn't been hampered by the concentration of malevolence in this area, we were very lucky. She hated me that much. Haha. Uh -huh. That bat was sure trying to mess me up, and it can't. Okay, so I'm going to Lograin and find out if, if burying, um... Oh, jeez, the M guy. <laughs> I, I blanked on his name, but burying him was the correct thing to do. So, I also want to say with that, and I know, I, I know I'm like just popping off with psychology here, but I, I really feel like that was, um, if you're ever in a relationship, and the relationship is based, you know, if, if, if someone gets in a relationship out of a sense of they need to feel worth, they need people to appreciate them, it, it will inherently poison the relationship, because they they're not confident in themselves, and so they need the other person to give them reason to be happy. And that will just eventually go against them, and it will just, you know, the, 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 they're, they're establishing an unbalanced relationship, and that cannot end well. And that's kind of the same thing Simone was doing. Simone didn't understand, couldn't find happiness without Heldolf. 
And Helloff is an abusive person because the, the, the extremely needy person will attract the extremely abusive person, partner. A balanced but non-abusive partner is, going to, is not going to be attracted to someone that's super needy. Okay, I'm supposed to talk to people of Logren. I've already been to that um, star, so I don't think that's actually anything. But let's talk to Logan. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not going to stop twice to just give you, like, random pop psychology stuff and share my thoughts, but hey, I mean, it's what I do. Ah, how round it was. I was ever seen 2,000 years. Too round. It was a dream I won. I had to come to life. A dream of roundness. How should a mind react to spherical perfection? I divert my unworthy gaze as was cosmic beauty. Who knew that the Trizolene Cavern was holding such wonders? I already found that. Why are you talking about it now? Do you know the explorer poet Maven? How I envy that life, venturing from ruin to ruin and singing of the glories of the past. Quite a beauty, too. Maybe we'll still be living in the Trizolene Cave if I'm not mistaken. Uh, a beautiful explorer poet named Maven? What is going on? I don't know. But now I'm curious. But it sounds important. Curious times a hundred. I've got an imitator. Yeah, but the, your imitator will never replace you. So, the Trislet Cavern. Let's investigate. There it is. This is that one where I found the thing and I could never find anything else. But I guess we can go I through it again. The bottles. But you know what? Because I ended up running through here for so long trying to find something that I never actually found, um, I will be back when I find it. Because I, I don't want to just run along with you guys forever. And never ever... F Although I'm noticing there's no monsters in here. 15,000 gold. I will take that. Why are there no monsters in here? That kind of actually seems super real. An hundred herbs! I got an achievement! I got an achievement. So this is where um, the Super Hellion was. But nothing came of it. Huh. Well, like I said, I will be back whenever I find something. Okay, what's going on, pretty maven? You are quite cute. I'll give you that. Don't get kicked! Out there. Talk to the dang person. Jeez, everything is following me. I am the Seraph Aksha. May I ask what has brought you to this distant realm, Shepherd? Well, obviously you have. My name is Saray. Um... We heard about a poet or something named Maven. Do you know anything about that? Ah, if it is the poet Maven you seek. Are you growing a new Shepherd here. of Time? She passed not away. Shepherd Time. Yes, um. over 300 years ago. As her old friend, I care for her grave. Well, not a new 300 one, then. years? He didn't mention that part. It happens sometimes with long lived Seraphim. Their sense of time gets out of sync with the real world. For the man who told us about her, 300 years ago probably felt like no more than two or three. Oh, yeah, I've gotten that. Set my pudding down once and only remembered it a hundred years later. 
<laughs> really? Doubtful. Was there something you had wanted from her? Yeah, we have an acquaintance named Maven who's an explorer. We thought maybe she was family, but... Looks like the name was just a coincidence. It is no coincidence. Your explorer friend is the storyteller of time, is he not? He used to be. Now they're both dead. How did you know that? This Maven was also a storyteller. That's what I was figuring. Those in the clan of storytellers have no names of their own. The name Maven is passed down through the generations. Well, Maven's not exactly a feminine name. So the poet Maven, Maven was his ancestor from centuries ago. Doesn't Maven mean caregiver in the old tongue? Those born into that name and that oath must accept their fate to be observers of the world. Well, then why are they caretakers? But I wonder, why is that their fate? Wasn't it like... The first one did some damn fool thing and wound up forced to take the oath as punishment or something? Oaths are punishments? That I could not say. Only the storytellers themselves might know for sure. Well, we kind of killed him already. Where is the current Maven? We were there when he... I see. I watched the world with measured gaze as moments turned to history. The world, a lute the people play, and history its melody. Venture on, venture on, let your actions turn the world, and I shall watch, and I shall watch, until the final star winks out. If solitude must be my fate, then people are my heart, my heart. I know your sins and shrieks and joys, for people are my heart, my heart. Is that by the poet Maven? Which one? The words are filled with love for people. Yes, it was her dream, but surely one shared by her entire clan. It is solitude itself that leads storytellers to cherish the world and its people. I'm sure the maven you knew was happy to have you by his side in his final hour. This is really weird that this is optional. I hope so. We need to work hard to live up to the hopes that maven placed in us. Oh, wow, your whole job is to just stand here by this chest? You've got kind of a sucky job there, buddy. <laughs> That's, I mean, because it really feels like this should have been something we found out, like, we had to find out after we, you know, Maven passed. To get a little bit, because this does explain a little bit more about what's going on, because I always didn't understand Maven at all, and this does help. I won't say it, you know, like, completely clarifies everything, but it helps. Okay, so what else can we do? Edna... Cat's Corner... I did talk to the comments, people told me the boss here is harder than Kitty Beard, so I'm not going to be doing Cat's Corner until after the end of the game. Uh, mainly because... If you guys watched my Abyss run, I ended up fighting against um, the, like... Um, Abyssal Weapon boss. And it just, it completely negated it, and the final boss was so easy after that, so I don't want to do that again. So, Edna, not enough time, but let's go ahead and check out Sergei. Um, so let's see if we can do that real quick, and then we will end the episode. Next episode, we will collect the Norman. Oh. So old man Maven really was dealt a tricky hand in life. Yeah. He was burdened with a special fate. Even so. He never had a problem lending a helping hand to the Sparrow Feathers. He may have known who you were to be. he taught me what it is to be an explorer. He traveled all over the world. Gently guiding us to the right path. Yep, that's the Maven I know. No matter his circumstances, no matter his fate... Maven was just Maven, through and through. Yep, like how Saray is just Saray. And how Rose is just, just Rose. Stop copying me. You copied me first. <laughs> Kitty, please. Okay, so I think he should be here. Is he going to be here, or is he going to be in Drago? So I found him in both places in the past. I don't see any indication he's here. And realistically, he probably will be in Drago now that I've come here. 
let's go over there. And the next episode, like I said, we will meet with Alicia. We will collect the Norman. And if we have time, we'll go after Edna's brother. Well, there's a special person. Why are you all glowing? Oh, we got fetch a specimen of humanity. You know, the one who goes around the ruins writing poetry. All right, Maven. They call him Blue. Support the poet of the ruins. Um. You're in the wrong city there, buddy. That was not who I expected to find or what I expected you to say. Like, at all. Moving on through. So let's go ahead and go to the barracks. See if Sergei is in there. Okay, well, Sergei's outside the barracks. He showed me. Sergei, how did the negotiations with Highland go? His Majesty and the King of Highland agreed to make peace with each other. But the process is proving quite difficult. Of course difficult. it is. That's how politics works. Even though the King agreed to it? It's a mere formality. The Conservatives are steadfastly refusing to give up their conditions. <laughs> Stupid and Republicans. the Progressives use this opportunity to build political power. Stupid Democrats. We have allies and enemies on both sides of the fence. Things are indeed in disarray. Man, just hearing about it wears me out. Yeah, sounds pretty tough. Never. It's nothing compared to what Soray and his lady have endured. Wait, I have a lady? Uh, just FYI, I'm not actually his... Milady, it is very fortunate to have someone by your side when the road ahead is rife with danger. It's common for men I focused on their we intentions to, to we not realize how fortunate they are. Please, look after him. All right, leave it to me. <laughs> Please, forgive me. I'm sure I didn't need to tell you. Ah, it's time for the next meeting. Please excuse me. You are not excused, Sergei. just kidding. Don't worry, I won't budge. For all those who have paved the way for us. It was super worth it to come here then. I was like, okay, that was kind of a weird thing for them to like tell me to come do, because like nothing really got resolved. It's just like, well, Sergei's still doing Sergei stuff. Wow, I'm I'm just blazing through these conversations. I actually do think we have time to go talk to Alicia if they're that short. I thought this might actually launch to a like a small quest or something. But it did not. So Lady Lake. Rose, it still seems like you haven't quite told Sergei the truth, have you? Yeah, kind of. I guess I don't want to disappoint him. Yeah, me neither. Maybe for Sergei, people like you and Rose are symbolic of the very world he wants to protect. Maybe he's reflecting upon the loss of his family through them. We are deceiving him, but let's keep it on the down low for a bit longer. Yes, I agree. Maybe you guys should make it a reality instead. <laughs> In, In your, your dreams! dreams. Oh, See? damn. What a cute couple. Anyway, let's do what we have to do. And then... A day will come when we can tell him the truth. For sure. I have a feeling we'll never actually tell them the truth. Call it a hunch. I think the sanctuary is slightly closer. I, I never really know. Because they're both roughly equidistant. All right. Room. I do love just how fast you run. You guys were so right in telling me to get that thing from um, First Dezel and now Zavine. It was quite the good idea on your... Why are there two? I want to check the other one first. I don't know what that is. I expected one from Alicia. Who are you? Cat. Hey, everyone, please don't... Hey, quit bullying that cat! Keep it up and it'll turn into a cat hellion and getcha! Wait, what? Oh, thank 
Thank you very much. Wow, a cat hellion? That's I'm obviously not a hellion. Now. I'm a cat. This is a cat? Are you a human or just a cat? Or both? Whichever. As long as it's cute. <laughs> I'd like to invite you all to Cat Corner as thanks for lending a paw. Not until after we really? game, buddy. We had all been working so hard on our own. And we found out like this. It's I actually haven't been working at all. I'll say. Take us there. Unfortunately, we do not allow first timers to enter Catch Corner. Yeah. So but you just invited time. us. You have a point. Yeah. But it's a cold world out there. Meow. Yeah. We have to choose between quality and quantity. Gotta make ends meet. Meow. Yeah. Guess cats are high maintenance pretty much everywhere. <laughs> it's definitely a hard decision to make as a business. Cat's Corner is a business? Really? Well, if so, connections are super important. <laughs> Where? Hey, what is, what's yeah. happening? You got that right. You get me? Well, of course, I know just what you mean. Don't agree yes, with it. Yeah. <sighs> I don't get what's going on anymore. I'm with you, Mikleo. <laughs> you just need to show us that you're a relative of a regular customer who's a high-ranking sheriff. Yeah. Well, got anything, Saray? Proof of my relationship with a high-ranking seraph. Uh, what happened to Gramps' pipe? Is it still, like, back in Elysia? That's obviously who it's referring to. I'd like to thank you very much for your personal invitation today, Princess Alicia. It's quite alright. I would like to ask you for your continued support in liaising between the two countries. Well, about that. There's still quite a bit of business left for me to take care of. I will require some assistance. Assistance? Oh, assistance. I see. You do understand what I mean, yes? I don't. I have a bad... I, yes. Of course, we'll do our best to... Uh, accommodate your needs. What are his needs? Oh, if that's the case, then I shall uphold my end and work hard as well. But your answer leaves something to be desired. Why do you need him? If you're, you're too readable, you'll be taken for all you're worth, one day or another. Be mindful. Huh? You need to be able to manipulate people like me if you are to rise above and lead others. You must grow stronger. Wow, he's actually turned into a somewhat yes, decent person. I will take it to heart. I still have so much to learn. Please, don't push yourself too hard. I think you can do it. I Thanks. believe in you. But I'm really not. I'm merely doing what's necessary. It must be hard for you, Princess Alicia. It's not so much about my ideals. I need to be strong enough to protect my people, even if I must soil my hands to do so. The strength of a knight exists to protect, and their kindness serves the people. I love how she's still quoting people. that when she knows it was blatant lie. It, it is the people character. who will create a malevolence-free kingdom of Highland. I must be strong enough if I am to be its foundation. You have changed much, Princess Alicia. It's nothing special. Those out there fighting against unknown disasters are the real heroes. As their companion, I can't stop here. Then at least please get some rest. Sleep for the week. Very well. I yet have time before meeting with the Prime Ministers. Hmm. Alicia sure seems different. Yes, yeah, she's very resolved. Yeah. She's matured as a woman for sure. Oh, don't I believe her. it's because she's grown so resolute in what she must do to realize her dreams. And that probably inspired her to become a politician. Yeah. Lonely without her? No way. I believe in her. Alicia will be just fine. Guess you've matured a bit yourself. Awesome. Well, you know. Whoa uh now. Okay, and with that, I'll be ending this episode. Join me next time whenever, like I said, we do, we collect all the Norman, we um, go after Edmund's brother, and I think that's it. So we're not doing Cat's Corner until post-game. Or at the very least, until the I, of the load before I fight held off, I'll go back and do Cat's Corner. Um, because I don't want to do Cat's Corner if it really is harder than held off. Because that'll suck. That won't be good at all. Anyway, see you next time.